Hi everyone, it's Mike here. So today I have a double page spread art journal in my black dilutions and I wanted to play with some very bold and very strong colours and this is how I scratched that creative itch. So as you can see I've got my black journal out today. This is the black 8x8 art journal from Dilusions and I've also taken out my large brayer because I can't find my small one and this is the lime yellow acrylic paint from Reeves. I'm just going to use the brayer just to manoeuvre the paint on the page. I'm going to do this with a couple of colours um, just to get a nice kind of mottled background for my page. And just to prevent any contamination with the colours, I'm just going to give the brayer a little bit of a wipe down with a baby wipe before moving on with the next colour. And of course, as always, I'm going to heat set the colour on the page before moving on. The next colour is going to be the fluorescent pink acrylic paint from Reeves, and I'm going to do exactly the same with the pink that I did with the lime yellow. So I'm not particularly happy with the vibrancy of colour uh, that the pages are giving me with that brayed yellow and pink, so I'm going to try a different tactic next. So instead of using the brayer, I'm actually going to put some of the paint on my craft mat, then take a spatula and then scrape it across the pages. And I'm going to do the same thing with the pink as well. And of course, I need to heat set the page or the paint before I can add the next colour because otherwise it'll smudge. And the next colour obviously is going to be that fluorescent pink again. And of course, if you haven't got a spatula and want to create the same effect, then you can just use an old credit card or debit card or even one of those hotel key cards. So I'm a lot happy with the colour now, so I'm just going to heat set and then we can start layering our stencils. So the main stencil I want to use today is the Chevron layering stencil from Tim Holtz and Stampers Anonymous. And I'm also going to be using white or titanium white acrylic paint with a craft sponge. And I'm going to apply the paint through the stencil with that sponge. So I'm happy with the effect that that stencil has given me, but I now want to add some more details. So this time I'm going for the Splatters stencil, again from Tim Holtz and Stampers Anonymous. But before I do that, I'm just going to give the page a quick dry and then bring back that fluorescent pink. Now I'm going to use the same sponge that I used with the white because I want a lighter, a paler shade of that pink. And then I'm just going to lay the stencil on the page and then just add that pink paint through the stencil with that splatter pattern.
So I'm very happy with the way this page is turning out. So again, just need to heat set before moving on to the next colour. My next colour is the Mars Black. Now the reason I'm using black for this next um, layer, if you like, is because I want that black to come through from the background of the page into the foreground of my design. So to do that I'm going to use this eye chart layering stencil from Tim Holtz and I'm going to layer these, um, the characters, the letters, through this stencil. I'm going to do these around, um, or concentrate around the outside of the page. It almost makes it look as though the page is showing through and I've actually got an absence of colour that I've already laid down. It's kind of an optical illusion but it's one that I hope works. So continuing on with the black, I'm going to change the stencil out now for the cargo stencil. Again, this is the cargo layering stencil from Tim Holtz and Stampers Anonymous. And I'm just going to continue to add that colour predominantly around the edges of the page. I know I will bring it into the centre of the page, but I'm concentrating first on the edges and then bringing the paint from the edge into the centre of the page. And once again, I'm going to switch out the stencils. This time I'm going to bring in the industrial layering stencil, again from Tim Holtz and Stampers Anonymous. And I'm going to continue doing exactly the same thing again, layering those black letters and breaking up that color in the background. So I'm very happy with the way this page is turning out. So all I need to do at this stage is just make sure everything's nice and dry. And then I want to reintroduce the white. I'm going to bring back the titanium white acrylic paint and another of the Tim Holtz layering stencils. Uh, this time I'm going to be bringing in the typo stencil and I'm just going to bring a couple of those white highlights just a bit more to the forefront. I did toy with the idea of layering some white splatters on the page, but I thought that at this point it didn't actually need it. So all I'm going to do is just dry the page off now and then I can begin adding my quote or my page title. So these are a set of self-adhesive alphabet stickers that I picked up from my local craft store. Now these were in the bargain bin. Um, I paid less than a pound for these. Um, they're absolutely fantastic for adding quotes and titles to pages. There's a real good selection of letters. Um, they're by a company called Sill that produce very, very inexpensive craft materials uh, and that we can pick up here almost in every single kind of home depot that sells craft materials that you can find. And just purely by coincidence and good luck, I was able to get the entire of my page title and quote out of just one sheet. So that means I still have a full sheet of these letters completely untouched. I'm just such a lucky boy. Now the adhesive on the backs of these letters is okay, um, but I'm going to probably leave it for about 24 hours to see if any of them start peeling off because I'm sticking them down onto acrylic paint. 
They may do. Um, if they do start peeling off, then I will go over them again later with a coat of um, matte medium or um, some kind of sealant. But as I said, I'm going to leave them for 24 hours just to see whether or not they do move, first of all. I got to this point where I'm sticking the word forward down and then I had a senior moment. You know occasionally when you can't remember the spelling of a familiar word. I couldn't remember whether there was an E in the word forward or not so I had to stop and check before sticking something down. As I said it's a senior moment I'm sure we've all had them but once I'd checked I carried on. And that's it for this page. I don't think I want to do any more to it at all. I'm really, really happy with the way it looks. It's kind of camouflagey. It's kind of grungy. It's kind of um, graffiti on a wall. And that's exactly what I wanted to achieve. So all I'm going to do is just sign and date it. And I'm going to call this page complete. So I hope you enjoyed watching that double page spread. I really love the the colour combination of the black and that very strong pink and that very strong lime yellow. I just love that colour combination. So if you did enjoy this site journal page, please remember to give it a thumbs up, share the video with all your friends, and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of this video. That's all from me for now. I will see you all again real soon. Bye for now.